So friends, in Donald Trump's New York case, the one in which the jury convicted him of 34 felony crimes, the one in which he is pending sentencing, we have a really interesting 48-hour time period coming up. There is one last hurdle that Lady Justice has to jump in order for Donald Trump to be sentenced. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, as you all know, Donald Trump was convicted of 34 felony crimes for falsifying business records to cover up the true nature of hush money payments he paid to a porn star, all motivated by his desire to cheat in and steal the 2016 presidential election. And you may also know that Donald Trump is scheduled to be sentenced on those 34 felony convictions on September 18th. But you may not know there is one last hurdle, one final potential impediment to Donald Trump being sentenced on September 18th, and it involves something that's going to happen on September 16th, just two days prior to his sentencing date. Now, Donald Trump has been desperately trying to get his conviction thrown out. He filed a motion with Judge Mershon, the presiding judge in the New York case, saying, Judge Mershon, the Supreme Court decided the presidential immunity case, and I, Donald Trump, through his lawyers, I maintain that you need to throw out my 34 felony convictions based on the Supreme Court presidential immunity ruling. Well, I think Donald Trump is dead wrong on that, but he filed a motion asking Judge Marchand to do just that. So Judge Marchand said, fine, brief it up, submit the briefs to me. And I will decide on September 16th whether I'm going to throw out your 34 felony convictions based on this new harebrained ruling where the Supreme Court literally ruled that the Constitution is unconstitutional and that presidents can commit all of the crimes they want against the American people with complete impunity and immunity, you know, if they're official acts of the presidency. Yeah, we've got to unravel and undo and reverse that horrific ruling, and we will. It will take time, but it will go the way of other horrific Supreme Court rulings like Plessy versus Ferguson, Korematsu. But here's what Judge Mershon said in a letter that he sent to the prosecutors and to Donald Trump's defense attorneys back on August 5th. Judge Mershon wrote that Trump's attorneys filed a pre-motion letter on July 1st, 2024, seeking leave to file a motion to set aside the jury's verdict, in other words, throw out the 34 offenses of conviction based on the Supreme Court's decision in Trump versus the United States. That's the presidential immunity ruling. Judge Mershon continued saying, a decision on the motion will be handed down off calendar on September 16th, 2024. But friends, Judge Mershon goes on to say something that is more than just interesting. I would go so far as to say it feels like a little bit of an Easter egg Judge Mershon dropped in this letter because he goes on to say, okay, I'll resolve your motion to dismiss based on presidential immunity on September 16th, but please note the court appearance scheduled for September 18th, 2024 at 10 a.m., that would be Donald Trump's sentencing date, remains unchanged. We will proceed on that date and time to the imposition of sentence or other proceedings as appropriate. Okay, friends, let's talk about what's really going on here. Let's try to unravel this. And in order to do that, we're going to have to go to a quick team justice law school class on appeals. When does a defendant have a right 
to appeal a judge's decision. Ordinarily, a defendant in a criminal case can't appeal anything until his case is over. That means he's been indicted, he's been tried, he's been convicted, and he's been sentenced. That is when a defendant in a criminal case first has the right to appeal. That's when the right to appeal is born, after you've been sentenced, with a couple of exceptions. One notable exception that applies here is if the defendant actually has immunity from prosecution. He shouldn't be prosecuted because he actually has immunity. So think about it. There is some friction between the rule that you can't appeal anything until after you've been tried, convicted, and sentenced. And if you have a right to immunity and the judge wrongfully um, rejects your claim that you have immunity against prosecution, well, you know, fairness dictates that, well, then you shouldn't have to go through a trial and a conviction and a sentencing before you can go to the appellate court and say, wait a minute, appellate court judges, I had immunity against prosecution. Well, by that point, you've been prosecuted. You've been forced to sit through a trial and defend yourself against charges. You've been convicted and sentenced, and you shouldn't have had to go through any of that if you actually have immunity. But, you know, immunity can be a tricky thing because judges don't get to grant immunity to defendants. That presents a separation of powers problem. Stick with me here for a minute. Only the executive branch, the Department of Justice, the prosecutors or state court prosecutors have the power to grant somebody immunity from prosecution because it's the prosecutors, the executive branch that prosecute people and they can give people immunity against prosecution. Judges, that would be a violation of the separation of powers. The judicial branch can't give people immunity. It is not within their power or authority. Now, of course, the Supreme Court has come up with this harebrained unconstitutional ruling that even though the Constitution in two places really indicates pretty strongly that a president can be prosecuted, the Supreme Court and their determination to throw Donald Trump a lifeline said, nope, we're going to rule otherwise. We're going to fix that eventually, friends. We're going to have to if we, you know, care about America not lapsing into, you know, banana republic territory. But where we are now is that Donald Trump will have Judge Mershon hand down this ruling on September 16th, two days prior to his sentencing. And if Judge Mershon rules against Donald Trump and says, we're going to sentencing in 48 hours, as I predict Judge Mershon will, Donald Trump will say, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know that there's this special exception in the appeals arena when it comes to immunity. So I shouldn't have to proceed to sentencing because I think Judge Mershon is wrong. So I want to immediately appeal it. I want to put a dead stop to my upcoming sentencing date, 48 hours from now, September 18th, and I want to appeal it. And I predict, friends, it's going to be a foot race to the courthouse, courthouses, plural. Donald Trump will pl probably file motions to stop, to stay his proceedings in the New York State Court of Appeals. He will be filing stuff in the federal courts, trying to bubble it up to the Supreme Court in that 48-hour period. He, he will be desperate to avoid going to sentencing on September 18th and running the risk of being sentenced to prison. So it's going to be a really interesting 48 hours. I, for one, hope that after Judge Mershon on September 16th refuses to throw out Donald Trump's case based on this presidential immunity precedent from the Supreme Court, because let's face it, most of Donald Trump's criminal conduct occurred before he was president, while he was a candidate, doesn't enjoy presidential immunity. And then even after he was sworn in, what was he doing? He was writing reimbursement checks to his attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen, to make him whole for the hush money payments that he, Michael Cohen, made on behalf of and for the benefit of Donald Trump. And guess what? Reimbursing your fixer by, you know, committing crimes to cover up the true nature of hush money payments, not presidential acts, not official presidential conduct. 
no immunity for you. That is what the ruling likely will be, in my opinion. And what I hope happens after Judge Mershon denies the motion to throw the case out on September 16th, he says, you go ahead and file whatever you want to file in state appellate court, in federal appellate court. We're going to sentencing in 48 hours, period. And then it will be up to the appellate courts whether they want to step in and put a stop to it or not. I hope they don't. I hope Donald Trump is sentenced on September 18th. I hope he's sentenced to prison because he so richly deserves prison for his 34 felony crimes, no small potatoes on the criming front there. And I would also like to see Judge Mershon order execution of the sentence promptly. In other words, the sentence will commence on the 18th of September after I hand it down. I think that less likely. I think Judge Mershon may very well say, I will stay the commencement of your sentence. I won't order you into prison, but rather I will let you go through the appeals process. I will stay the commencement of the sentence. I think that's most likely, but we'll see. We'll see how Judge Mershon feels about the need to not only punish Donald Trump for his crimes, but to deter other aspiring dictators from committing felonies to cheat in American elections. Because the only way you deter tomorrow's aspiring dictator is to punish today's aspiring dictator for his election interference crimes. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.